Hey y'all. It's obviously 26, 2016, and I got a hold of something real juicy right here. Re real juicy, all right? All right. It's an article I think you might want to look at. It's an article and a video, by the way. It's a video right next to the article. This is Boston Dot CBS Local dot com, all right, off their website. And the, the headline says, New concerns arise about mental health of college students, all right, in which Dr. Jean Barrison, who's a psychiatrist and executive director of the Clay Center for Young Healthy Minds at Massachusetts General Hospital, says 50 to 60 percent of college students have a psychiatric disorder, all right, says 50 to 60 percent of college students have. A psychiatric disorder, and that's, see, that's what caught my eye, the 60%, because that's what, uh, you know, I was kind of baited in, said 60% of college students uh, have a psychiatric disorder, and here's the thing about it, I'm not a doctor, certainly I'm not a doctor, but the thing is, I can tell you, you know, children have been all sort of messed up, right, and, you know, it's really not their fault necessarily, they've been all messed up, right, especially around in the college age, you know, there's a lot of children out there who are all messed up in the brains, all right, so, I don't know how legitimate this actual percentage that, Dr. Gene Barrison is uh, stating, I don't know how legitimate it is, 50 to 60 percent of all college students. And you gotta imagine this is all people that age because, I mean, just because you're not in college doesn't mean that you're not gonna have some sort of the psychiatric disorder. Like, if you're not in college, you automatically don't have a psychiatric disorder. You probably will have it about 50 to 60 percent. But I was, I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know, shoot, when you just think about the mathematics of all this, and think about the mathematics, it's, let's, let's consider, okay, let's say 60 percent of college age people. Uh, have some sort of psychiatric disorder, right? If it is 60%, I mean, my argument is this. What makes it a disorder anymore? Now, that, see, now that's the majority. The majority of students have a disorder. That doesn't make any sense, right? Now you got to flip-flop what disorder means, right? Disorder probably now means that now you're not tripping balls. Like, now you're kind of normal. You got a disorder. You got a normal disorder because everybody else up in here has some sort of psychiatric illness mental illness that they just can barely cope with, all right? Everybody's going through uh, college for some reason have psychiatric disorders, all right? Just to think about it. The article, it pretty, much, it pretty much reads just exactly how you think it would. All right, but what I want you to do is watch the video if you have time. Because the video, especially towards the end, you got these two ladies talking, just be talking about how horribly depressing college, they're like, man, if y'all have a, they're telling people out there, they're telling the viewers, they're like, you know, if you have a child in college, you better check up on them, check up on them regularly. It's like, why would your newscaster have to tell you that for, for one? Number two, it's like, they, uh, I mean, they're just, what they're describing for a, a lot of people is a terribly depressing thing to do. And it's like, why exactly we're like, okay, we want children to learn, right? And we want them to be successful and stuff and get good jobs and stuff. But a lot of these college degrees ain't doing it for number one. Number two, it's like, it's an extremely depressing place usually and stuff. What in the world is going on here? Why are we spending so much money? It's like, dude, why would you want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in tuition to send your kids to a place where they might just be like, uh, they might just hate their lives, right? And they have all sorts of disorders in them. Just, I mean, that does stem from the family. The family life will lead to a lot of disorders. If, you know, you got unchecked aggression and things. And now you're going to send them off to college where they might commit suicide. And these two ladies, they were talking about it. They are like, yeah, a lot of people are committing suicide and stuff. You know, we might want to think about what it is we're doing. What, where are we sending our children and stuff? Our children are strangers and stuff out here, man. That doesn't concern people. It's tribulation. Uh, and that's how things are. They're all backwards. It should concern you that your child's uh, they're strangers and stuff. They go out, commit suicide, and whatever else and stuff. You just gotta accept it, right? Uh, it's August the 26th, uh, 2016.